Good morning, Goeiemorgen. Um, this morning we're talking about a topic that's quite near to our hearts. Um, my goodness, typical fashion statement when I'm trying to tell people what we're talking about. Sorry. Woman, <laughs> Chase. All right, what are we talking about this morning? We thought we'd touch the subject of um, how to form new friendships mm. in a new country from our perspective, how we did it and how we saw other people did it. And also kind of what happens to your friendships in South Africa yeah. or with whatever country you come from. Uh, mm -hmm. One thing is sure, as soon as you move out of South Africa, um, the Afrikaans thing is uh, basically, if you're far from the people that's near to you, they lose interest in you. Yes. Yeah. In some way, you can kind of understand it. The other mm. day, I was thinking it's kind of you divorcing them in a way. So no, you, you are leaving. Yeah. No, that's right. So you, you can't leaving. really um, hold it against mm. them because you're the one that's leaving. I never thought about it that way. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So sometimes you think, okay, they're probably just not interested anymore or they just forgot about me. But in the other, on the other hand, they probably thinking you're the one that left, so they just carry on with their lives. And yeah. um, unfortunately, you alone, yeah, and you have to carry on with your life. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Sad as it might be, and I mean, we had very good friends. And sorry if you guys are listening this morning. <laughs> we had very good friends in South Africa, and on the one fact, as you said, it's as if we divorced them because. We, we can't speak to them on a daily basis anymore. We, no, they're not part of your life anymore. No, we can't say kumbrai or something mm. like that to mm. them. So so we kind of touch base mm. on a fairly regular basis, but it's only like, how are you doing? Yeah. Or maybe a little message on Facebook or something. There's nothing really um, substantial mm. about it. We do have um, two couples that we still, the one um, also immigrated to England, and we we still video call with them mm. and we still really keep in touch with oh, them yeah. because we really still um kind of part of our, each other's lives so how did we go about making new friends this time? yeah what we uh, were talking about earlier this morning is it's probably much easier when you come here with small children mm. because um even in south africa we made a lot of friends through the kids oh, with yeah. their friends um so it's probably easier when you come here with with kids then you at least get to know all the mm. um the moms and the dads, moms and dads. Mm. Every, uh, think about running up and down next to the rugby field or rocky field or whatever they play and we, we didn't come with the small kids so that was a part of uh of experience that that we didn't have at all but that was, mm. I think it would be nice as well. On the one hand, it was easier, I think, for us to immigrate without <laughs> small children, children yeah. because otherwise you still have to mm. think about schools and all mm. that. But on the other hand, um, it was, it was you had to go out of your way yeah. to make you new friends. You had to search out people. Mm. You kind of had to leave mm. your comfort zone um, in order yeah. to make new friends. And I want to say something here this morning. And sorry about that. Not everybody who immigrates to New Zealand in the same period of time or before or after you is going to be your best friend. No. It's not going to mm. be like that. Even if we've got the same experiences, we all come from South Africa, blah, blah, blah. But they won't be, not everybody, because it's, it's a fit thing. Not everybody I fit think for each what other. makes it easier is um, before we mm. immigrated, I wasn't, but he was on a, a WhatsApp group kind of of people that were all immigrating at the same time. Mm. So everyone kind of shared that experience and um, asked questions. And um, yeah, so they kind of shared what they're going through and how to proceed and all that. So when um, we got here, we kind of had um, not friends, but people that you know mm. that was in the same country as you, yep. although they didn't live in the same area as we did i mean that that group is broken up in total, total yeah. yeah so i think what um it's like a period of time it's like a season in your life that mm. those people are there and then when that time is over everyone just moves on it's not like everyone is mad at each other or something yeah. it's just the way that life goes so you kind of grew apart and then you form new friendships and 
um, it takes, it really takes a while. And mm. you go through a lot of ups and downs with, with people before you kind of um, find the ones that you like to stick with. Oh, yeah. I think. And I mean, we've, we've joined the, the local church. Yes. And we've made very good friends there as well. Yes. Um, some of them we don't see that often, but we still made, I can pick up the phone and call them and say, how are you? And we can have a good discussion. Yes. And we, um, at least we make the effort to see each mm. other, even if it's only once every second month or so. Yep. Um, and those are the ones that, um, mm. that lost, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And then I've, I've said to, yes to some crazy people who make me the godfather of their children. So <laughs> we, we, we check up on these people very often just to see that our godchild is, is all well. So. <laughs> she is. <laughs> she is so, yeah, yeah. So, um, and then the other thing, I think when you kind of get, if you move and mm. you kind of fit into a position at a job or oh, something, yeah then it's probably also easier because you kind of make friends with the people yeah. that you work but, with. But I've also it? heard that um, it's not a very big culture amongst the people to, how can I say? At work, they, at work, they, they work and then they go home. Okay, so yeah. it's not like you become best friends. Yeah. But at least you get to um, see other people. Yeah. In our instance, it's a little bit different mm. because we um, work from home. We have from the yeah. start. So we really had to get out of the box and go out to meet new people. Somebody just saying we didn't have kids when we came, it was easier to immigrate. It's actually very much easier to immigrate without kids. Mm. I, 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 I take off my hat to any mum and dad or mother and dad who comes that long trip from South Africa with Qantas with screaming kids. Yeah. I mean, that must be <laughs> hectic. Uh, Another comment here, I don't see my Kiwi friends often, but when we do, we pick up from where we left off. It doesn't feel weird. That's good. That's very, very good. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, this is a good one. Friends for a reason, a season, and, and for life. life. I read up on that the other day, and mm -hmm. that's kind of a discussion all on its own. Yep. We can maybe get into that good. one day. Friends for mm -hmm. a reason, a season, and for life. Yeah. Yep. yeah. That's quite good. Uh, somebody else saying, I still have friends from work, friendships going back 17 years. Wow. 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 Yeah. Wow. Uh, strange enough, um, I've also got some guys that I started work with as when I was a financial advisor. Uh, I can think of Graham um, Turnbull. Mm. We often contact each other on, on WhatsApp and so on and just talk a bit of crap with each other, actually. Mm. Um, but it's quite nice just to. Yeah. And, and I he still is an African. He probably will never leave there. Yeah. So. What's sad for me in a way is that it's the people that you thought was really mm. part of your life that's kind of disappeared. Yep. And it's the ones that you just have a very casual mm. kind of friendship with. That, so those are start. the ones that mm. sticks. That's really... Perhaps we made the wrong decisions with friends in the very I don't know. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> but, but, I want to say a big but here. Um, you, and I, I was specifically looking at you because... For me, my, my big worry was that Mariska will not um, that Mariska won't have any. Sorry, it, it looks like um, Facebook is having problems with all our streams this morning from this. So if we lose you anywhere, and I see we've lost one of the channels now. Um, we'll just watch it after. Yeah, no, we'll just watch yeah. it after. We will replay it for you guys on, on YouTube as well. But I've been watching Mariska going through different stages of friendships here. Um, and it's not that she's difficult in making friends, but um, she has gone from having, uh, how can I say, a loose connection with a few people mm. and now forming, and I would say it took, took you about two years. It took you about two years of having a lot of loose connections. And um, I'm meaning this in the best possible ways. Mm. Um, we had a lot of barbecues. We actually have a lot of people that we entertain all over. So it's not a thing that, but we had a lot of people come in and out of our lives for quite a while now. And from the last, it's about six months, eight months. Yeah. Th there has been four friendships formed. Um, she and three other ladies. And I get on with their husbands as well. Mm -hmm. So that's not, a, it's not a deal breaker, the hobbies for me. Uh, but the friendships that the form is absolutely gold. It is. Is, is, it is. Am I describing that right now? Yeah. 
um, and it took her at least two years. Yeah. It's not that we had any weird people except one. We had any weird people in her life. It's just a, a phase of going through, and we had, she had a lot of friends coming and going, and she's probably friends with a lot of those still. Um, yes, but they, yeah, they the, were... between the four of these ladies, mm -hmm. that was a special bond that formed. Yeah. So these are the ones that became mm. family, I think. Mm. You've got a lot of friends, and then you had have a lot of friends that becomes family. Yep. And um, I think that is very important. You have to allow people mm. to enter your life and become part of your existence, yeah. I think. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult because family is so far. Guys, okay, sorry, we've, we've lost one or two of the Facebook channels. Um, it's something to do with the... With the um, stream yard we're running on versus facebook so but we will replay this for you within about an hour if, if you lose if you lose us any further on on one of our other, other channels um and this call saying awesome discussion again we left south africa so we made the effort to phone them in south africa making friends in new zealand is about getting out of your comfort zone and getting involved in sports school it's a fourth do not sit at home and hope people will come to you. That, yeah. that is absolutely the truth, really. And I can tell you mm. that's not always very easy because you kind of feel out of place yeah. anyway being when you move to a new country. Mm. So you actually, and the thing is, I kind of felt that the women that was already here, they kind of formed friendships already, which is true. Mm. Um, so I was kind of scared to try to move into that circles. Yeah because you kind of feel out. But I must say, because there's such an um, influx of immigrant ladies, especially if I'm talking about the South African ladies now, they are so, um, what is the word I'm looking for? They really take you in and no mm. one is funny about it because they know what you're going through and they've all been through it. Yep. And these the new ladies, every mm. time that we, we're in these groups, there are new new ladies from South Africa. Mm. So um, it took me a while to get to the point where I said, okay, I'll have to go to one of these groups to kind of just be between women that knows what I'm going through yeah. and been through the same thing. And that is where I made my best friends. Right. So, and, and remember, not, not everybody is going to be um, a fit for each other. They were losing another Facebook channel. <laughs> uh, okay. Sorry about the, the Facebook channels jumping off. I don't know why this is happening this morning. Um, but not everybody you meet here will be your best friend. No. no that's, that's one thing. I actually um, spoke to somebody else the other day as well. And he said he's also had about, he had a hiccup of a lot of people um, that they made friends with mm -hmm. and they came and they gone. And he also said sometimes the people you wouldn't have had as friends in South Africa will also not become your friends here. Yeah. And that's a fact. I mean, I must say the one thing that I find kind of strange, I think we were just very much different people in South Africa. Mm. That we, um, or I, I have made a friend now in the South Island. Um, she lives in Picton. And I really wish that she was just a little bit closer to me. Mm. But, but what I find is that you make the effort to visit each other, even if it's that far in South Africa, yeah. it wouldn't. We wouldn't drive to Auckland um, two times, uh, twice a month, or so. We yeah. wouldn't drive three hundred kilometers to visit someone in South Africa, but here it's just like we just it's go. Like, yeah. yeah. And, and and one thing, um, if if you walk into a let's say an established group here, you you just said now you felt on the side, on the fringe of things. Mm. If you walk into an established group, these people are talking about, let's say, politics in New Zealand. Mm. When you arrive here, you haven't got the faintest idea. You all, you will, If you arrive here today, you'll just know about Jacinda. Mm. You won't know what a health minister has said or what Peterson has done in the last five or ten years. And now you walk into this area and they start talking about stuff you haven't got the faintest idea. And I think that is scary for anybody. And, and even for me, when I walked in here, I had, I had to learn about the politics. I mean, politics is, is, is a big discussion anyway. Yes. It's a big discussion. And it, it, it's not like the politics in South Africa that everybody is causing and mayhem. And you know what's funny? When we left South Africa, we said we're not going to get involved in any politics. 
politics but yes. at least the politics yes it's, it's much much better yeah it, well <laughs> Yeah. But it's also corrupt, yeah, and also bad. And it all, is just but it's funny how luck. you adjust and yeah. how you just but carry you need on. to. You walk into yes. this, I tell you about this. Yes. This guy did this and this. And you think, oh my goodness, um, who is this person? Yeah. And it's actually a famous person that you should have actually known about. Mm -hmm. But yeah. um, but what I can say is if you go to one of, I'm just going to talk about Taranga now because mm -hmm. I don't know the others, but I know there's quite a few places that has got groups for um, South African ladies to get together once in a while. Yeah. In South Africa, we have um, we have a South African women support group, but they've got three um, events every month where you can go to. And um, the one is just for the ladies and one is for ladies and partners, or yeah. if you just want to go on your own, that's also possible. But what I want to say is you, if you haven't been to one of these groups, don't feel that you um that they won't support you mm. or that you will feel kind of left out when you get there i promise you these ladies are wonderful mm. um some of them have been here for 18 19 20 years and yep. even them they still remember what it was like to be a newbie in a new country and they will really make you feel um welcome i put this up here Mm -hmm. uh, to watch you both share your journey while always growing and contributing is a testament to the kind of people you are. Thank you very much to whoever that is. Um, I'll say thank you. I'll say thank you later. Um, yeah, when, when you walk into this this group that supports newbies as a newbie, um, they will accept you as a newbie. But remember, one of these days you won't be a newbie anymore, and that'll be your chance then to to, to reach out and touch those people that you couldn't yeah to be the same help to somebody else but yeah. that's also important um I, I see some people give way more and other people go give less but that's just the way that people are yeah it's just one of those things that's the way people are yeah. and if you aren't one of those people that will always reach out to people when you reach out to people do the best that you can and if you're really struggling in an area um let us know uh if, if you haven't got any friends in areas i've got clients all over new zealand and i would probably be able to link you up with somebody in, yeah. in any and area that you are. if someone wants to introduce you to someone else, try to make the effort to get mm. to know that person. Um, I have heard of so many people that have been here for four or five years and still yeah. they say on Facebook, um, we don't have any friends. Mm. If I see all the events that people are planning, people are yeah. planning camping trips, people are planning sookies if that's your thing people are planning get togethers all the time and if you see how many people rock up to these it's actually there are so many if you want to be between south african mm. people there are so many south african people in this country and yet when someone try to arrange something the amount of people that pitch up is mm. oh, i don't know so there is enough space for you to get to know new people you yeah. just have to use it but i think it's time we arrange a nice camping trip i'm actually because <laughs> this yeah. would come the one that they had in color on out looked fantastic yeah, it really so, looked very nice but we'll we'll arrange something we got a lot of um people that that can and will camp with us as well so i will share the pages of the women support groups yeah. i'll do that I'll and do then that. on the other page that we can't Put up here vanita urban says help people with no expectations it will enrich your life that is really so that is really so um we've helped uh, quite a few people and we haven't had any expectations on that and today if i look back at their lives and how it has changed out i'm actually proud to think about it um that we were part of their beginning year we were the friends for a reason them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Sometimes we you are for just life, but um, we were for in a, a place where mm. you can connect other people um, for them to grow yep. again. So it's such a nice, it's such a nice um, thing to see yep. if you see how friendships grow and you have been part of that. And sometimes, if you are feeling lonely, you got to keep in your mind there's other people feeling exactly the same way as you are. And they are also like you, just scared to reach out. Yeah. So sometimes you just need somebody to stand up and say, uh, "Let's go and have a barbecue or braai or whatever you call this that you do these days." Yeah. 
it just needs one one person to start something up. Um, we had a a prawn braai about geez, about three, three years, years ago. ago. Oh my goodness, that's too long. But a prawn braai on on the beach, and there was quite a lot of people there. Um, I basically touched base with all of them still over the the three years period, and they split up in smaller groups after the prawn braai, and they still are, are good friends. I mean, yes. they came there. Um, we had this with no expectations. We just thought yeah. it would be nice to have a problem. It is by. just so nice to see how new people thrive mm. um, with the new friends and the new situations oh, yeah. in their lives. And, and if you're doing good in New Zealand, really, I love that. It, it is so important for me to see that South Africans are also doing well in New Zealand. That mm. is, that is my, my passion is to see every South African in this country doing as good as they can. And mm. because, I mean, this country is is, is fertile. It's it's new. It, it's, it's we can we can really become our best down yeah. here. So Karen says it's important to remember just be yourself. It's really hard initially, as all of a sudden you have to show who you who and what you are, and that is true. Mm. It's not easy to be to show who you really are. They called it going on a blind date for a bride. That's kind of true, right? Just to get to know each other. You won't know if you don't try. Participate at work, school, church, sport functions. Here I find are a lot of places looking for volunteers. That's true. A great way to integrate into your yeah. lo local com community. Yes, I know of a lot of women that get here that aren't allowed to work yet mm. until they've got the um, the correct visas. And, um, and they to, volunteer. To volunteer yeah. is a really good way to integrate. So, uh, something else that somebody wrote here. Marilek Tinkel says, in New Zealand, our friends became our family. And that that is really like that. I mean, you, you suddenly have got friends that you entrust your whole life to. Yes. It's not that you would only entrust your family, your brother, your sister um, with. And suddenly you've got to, you've got to have them trust or trust your whole life to these people. And this is what makes people basically stick together more, yeah. if I'm right. Yeah. And I think it's because you know that you are so far from your family mm. that you kind of, you treasure the friends that you make because you know these are the ones that's yeah. going to grow old with you um, and be in the same country as you. So mm. you kind of, yeah, they are your, you are, they are your family. And, and I know when, when starting out here, um, most people come here, they take the money, the available money from South Africa, they divide that by 10 and that what's left over is basically not a lot. And you've got to face a lot of things. So coming here is not the easiest thing to do and and how to find friends as well and yeah but you just got to go with it and and do the best that you can do mm -hmm. that's really and, and join something join something you, you can't be um you can't you're not an island on your own it's not a yeah. nice word to say not, not yeah. an island on your own yeah um if you aren't going to reach out to people probably people won't reach out to you as well that's the thing. You That's have to thing, go yeah. into it with an open mind mm. and with an open face, and yeah. with an open personality. Um, it's like Karen And with says, no expectations. I want to put this yes, in no expectations. Yeah, no, you're not no. going to be friends with everyone no. that you meet. So, no. uh, yeah, the ones that need to stick, they will stick. Mm. Um, and sometimes um, when you hear somebody speak Afrikaans somewhere in the back and say, you just got to walk up and say, How's it? Yeah. <laughs> that happened to us. Let's, let's, we, we were our second day in, in Papamoa. Yes. And um, called, a guy called Dirk, I haven't spoken to Dirk quite a while. He walked up and said, I, I, I hear you guys are speaking Afrikaans and you're looking for mayonnaise or something. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> so we had a discussion about mayonnaise and yeah. tomato sauce and stuff. And that was nice. So yeah. Dirk, yeah, he's called me noch a by the way. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Yes. You got you got to sometimes just reach out. Um, and I know it, it may sound crazy, it may be totally out of who you are, um, because we we all have different personalities, and sometimes our personality is this way that we aren't we aren't open to other people easily. I mean, you could be what's it, an introvert or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and we or I am a very personal person mm. anyway, so I don't easily share with anyone. Mm. So for me to put myself out there and kind of course you have to share yeah. who you are otherwise people is not going to connect with you mm. um it was very difficult but yeah i'm so fortunate yeah i was just thinking now remember in south africa we had all these gates and and things barring people from coming to our houses i mean you couldn't in south africa you couldn't walk up to anybody's house and just walk in and say hey let's have a braai or something 
And now suddenly we don't have all these uh, barriers between ourselves and anybody else. And perhaps it's, it's time that we break down the barriers in ourselves because it's, it's easy. It's easier if you look out beyond your barriers. It's easy for you just to sit back and say, oh, I can't get people here because you've got all these barriers up. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just a good thing just to take these barriers. And you know, if you, because uh, that's what kind of happens and it happened to me as well. Mm -hmm. I, you open up to someone and you get hurt. Yep. And that kind of, it just, you put up more barriers. Mm -hmm. And to get those down is very difficult because um, once you get hurt, especially now in a new country, I'm, I was thinking, oh my word, is this is what it's kind of going to be like. And luckily it was just um, a once off. And yeah. Yeah. But it happens. It's still a it bad happens. memory, but. Yeah. Mm. No, it happens. So. Um, okay, can I just quickly say something? Oh, yeah, about please women's? do. Um, oh. uh, you probably all know about the Labyrinth for Lemonade um, ladies' breakfast that we're having in Tarong on the 22nd of May and in Hamilton on the 29th of May. In Hamilton, we only have one seat left. and um, But if there is a lot of interest, we will try to open up another table um, which can take eight lady so it is there's only one seat left at the moment but we can open up another table if there's enough interest in Taranga's booked up um in Taranga there's still two spaces okay. available uh, but we can't um put in more tables the window is mm. just too small I was booked out and they put in more tables and more tables yeah so um what I just want to say to the ladies mm. in Hamilton um in Hamilton we're gonna have three or four um people that will have a um, exhibition, it? exhibition. Mm -hmm. it's not a big thing it's just um, a few of the sponsors mm -hmm. that we're going to give the opportunity to um, exhibit the the things that they have which are very good thing nice stuff I will put up that on the labyrinth for lemonade group later just to tell you which people will be exhibiting so um, remember to bring your um, your money with you just in case there's something that you want to buy but um, also, it's just to give them some exposure yeah. and for you to know what is available close to you and you will be able to order from them anyway, even, even if it's not at the, at the function. Mm -hmm. But we're really looking forward to that. And the discussion at those, those functions will also be about um, your relationship with your fa family and friends back in South Africa, how that changed and how immigration mm -hmm. Um, impact that and how to deal with it. how to deal yeah, with it because that's important yeah. yeah and then also how to form new friendships mm. in New Zealand and how to deal with your friendships in New Zealand and the big 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 one is um, how immigration impact your relationship with your husband mm. um, or your partner who came with you because we all know that um, mm. It does impact. It has a mm. huge, has a impact, huge impact, impact on that. your relationship. So that yeah. is the the most the biggest part of the morning will go yeah. about that. And we've got Gustav van Gruen and we'll be speaking about that. Um, if you haven't heard him before, you won't be disappointed. He um is a oh, very, he delivers yeah, on. Yeah, no, yeah. he yeah. really does. And so he, he, the stuff is both in Taranga and in Hamilton. Yes, he's gonna be at both. Um, and presumably I was also forced to say a few words there. So yeah. Okay, but that's just that. Yeah, I just wanted just to mention that. So. that. so we've basically lost all our Facebook channels, or nearly lost all our Facebook channels this morning. But we will have this video available on um, on YouTube, and I will share the link to everybody. So sorry if you were you were thrown off somewhere. It's not something we did. It's <laughs> Luckily, something you can out of it. our hands. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah. Have a good day. Uh, have a good weekend. Uh, thanks to everybody who, who tuned in. And sorry to those we, who we lost in the middle or somewhere, even to the end. I see we lost. We're basically down to half of what we started off with. So thank you very much. Um, and we'll see you all in either in Taranga or in Hamilton. And Benita's asking when will we be ha we're having one in Auckland. We are planning one still for this year in Auckland. Um, we just have to decide which month is the best. So this weekend we're going to Auckland. This weekend we'll be in, in Auckland. Auckland. Yeah, just we're going to the yeah. Queen Show. Oh, yes, we're going to the Queen wow. Show. <laughs> All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we will see some of you there. <laughs> we'll see some of you there. So, uh, All right. Reach out. We're there from Friday onwards. 
Okay. Thanks, okay. guys. See you all bye. later. Bye-bye.